probably doing everything and swinging them in people's face. See, I can't even, I can't, you can't get, like, I, know, I can't get none of that. Everybody, it's strange Hughes. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. As you can see, we have a special guest here with a lock update. I know y'all have been asking, and I'm honestly surprised that these locks still exist because <laughs> you know it was it was rough. You know, we ain't know she was gonna stick it out. But look at you now. You feeling yeah, they counted me out, and that's kind of what kept me going. But they so cute. I know, but it's a struggle. So now you can just start off by telling everybody how the journey has been so far. Cause I don't remember when we locked your hair. Was it October, 2020? It was October, 2020. And it, it they started off as braids, didn't they? Well, we tried, yeah, we, we had to braid it because twisting did not uh, last. It wouldn't take, it wouldn't take. I enjoy getting up every day, not really having much maintenance to do what i didn't like uh, uh or what i don't like some of the time is the color i kind of considered a, a ashtray color if you've seen cigarette ashes it would be so gray and blackish and i didn't like the color so what i did was i found about i found out about color wax and so the color i have it today is purple and i'm just trying it for the video I haven't worn it out anywhere, but this past week I did try silver and it actually looked re it looks really nice. It took really well. I like the purple one. I like the silver more. Yeah, but it I just emphasizes the gray and I love the gray. Well, we'll go back to the, the, the gray, but it just made me get that full head of silver salt and pepper look rather than a gray here, black spot here, black spot here. And if you know if uh, you know someone that's turning gray, that's really a frustrating uh, time of to go through with your hair all these different colors, and you're trying to match clothes and outfits and makeup, and it's just really oh, difficult. Oh, it's the clothes. Everything. I didn't know that it affected like the clothes and like the makeup and stuff. I thought yeah. you just didn't like it. No, it's, it's just you know, it's just me. I'm a matchy poo. So we're still maintaining her hair with interlocking. Yes. And she still does do like some interesting, not interesting, but like nicer extra styles that I don't, you know, have the patience to do. But I'll insert a picture right here. The last style we did, it's nice faux locks and it was real long and curly at the end. It's very cute. I don't even think that was like brand new hair. No, that, I've had that hair for at least two years. Mm -hmm. But uh, I decided when I get the urge to cut it or I want to style it differently <laughs> it's time to put something protective in and usually it's going to be a full lock mm -hmm. and that helps me to get past that and when i get tired of the full lock then i go back to my locks my real locks which i prefer because look at them look at the material look at the thick look at the flounce look at that bounce well you know when you have to look at yourself every day and going through your emotional things you know you just start having these you start looking in the mirror like who am I I don't like my hair you know and you go through that stage so do you like them more than you did at the, I know you like them more than you did at the beginning but like are you looking forward to what they'll look like yeah because I want to get to this status I want to get here I want them to get this long I'm telling you, once they get there, you're gonna miss like the phase. No, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna be doing everything and swinging them in people's face. See, I can't even. I can't. You can't. Hit, like, I know. Hit I can't get none of that. I can't get none of that right there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I'm gonna get there because uh, they're locking up pretty good. Some of them they're still have. Low. They're locked. Curly ends, and they're the ends are kind of just being drawn up into the lock, but. Yeah. Well, we can trim these as they get longer. We'll like trim like little bits and pieces mm -hmm. as time goes on. And then at some point the lock will just be like this cylindrical thing here. Yes, yes, or you can yes. do what some people do. We well, can't really do that with the back because these are lock lock. Those are but lock lock. These lock first. But these looser ones in the front, yeah. they're just going to have to get clipped off. I have to trim my hair. Remember? Yeah. I'm not going to start messing with anything until, you know, I get a little more length. So if I do trim it, I won't miss it. Now that you know that the locks do work, yes, and you do like them, and you want to see them continue, yes, do you think 
that you could get to a point where you only wear your locks and you don't add extra protective styles to make the transition easier. Because at this point, it's been almost two years for you. Okay, so I think that at some point when they get long enough and I can do certain different styles with my hair, mm -hmm. it'll be less protective styles. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to say I'm absolutely not going to do protective. I might throw a wig on. You know, I just... People put wigs on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, You never know. it Because my... Um, the way that I feel determines what I'm gonna do. If I wanna look a certain way, or, do, or feel a certain way on, and I'm going to a certain thing, I'm gonna throw something on. Like when we went to Monique's wedding, I never wore my hair, I mean, not uh, Jabril's wedding. Jabril's wedding. I never wore my hair. That way it was cute. It was cute, but I that was my first time wearing it that way. Right. And that it was, was that was crochet. It was not a wig, it was crochet. And the person that did it was, and she doesn't remember. But it was, you can insert that picture. I can't insert that picture. And that was cute, that. but that was another protective style. And I just think that it depends on the mood and the the image the I'm trying to give, the vibe I'm trying to have the at the event I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So I'm never going to say, no, I'm not going to ever, uh, I'm just going to be locks for forever. I'm, I am, well, but I'm going to have some other styles included. Well, you don't have to be locks forever because I know maybe, well, I don't know. Because I'll be thinking like waist length and I'll be like, I'll just cut it all off and start over and oh, get no, bigger. Oh, no, right I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to You always be threatening to cut it off. That's a threat. Okay. And and empty threat. They're empty. Oh, God. Because I didn't got to this point. I'm not cutting nothing. Right. I don't fall hard for this. I yes. don't earn this. No. <laughs> Do you think you- I'm the only one to get to talk about cutting my hair. No one else. Empty threat. Thank you. Gotcha. Do you think you want to keep interlocking or do you think you might switch over to palm roll and get some point? Well, you know what? Your brother got his hair palm roll and yeah, it seems- Chris. Yeah, but he has to wear it in a ponytail. He has to wear it in that long. style. So I don't know. That's the, that's the joy of interlocking. Like, you interlock, boom, I like out. interlock because look at this. You just boom, boom and now it's still looking good and- I think I'm gonna stick with interlocking. Okay. It's just a little painful because I got these big booties at the end of each one. And as soon as I'm able to cut it and get it thin enough, it'll be okay. Yeah, these big booties be rough. Yeah, I they rough. Booties. I have big booties in the back too. I know we're gonna they, they hurt. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna But at least you got somebody to do it for you looking at it. Cause I, I do I had to face so happy. My phone, my, I told you I had to FaceTime my laptop to look at the back of my head and it was a mess back that there. That sounds very creative. It was so much easier. Any other final thoughts on your hair journey and in comparison to the loose years, the perm years, the years it's where- It's been a fight, y'all. It's just been a fight. Cause uh, I'm the child of a beautician and my mom did my hair from birth till she passed away. And then I tried to go to other beauticians and they had these strange rituals that I just didn't understand. Girl, it's getting worse. The girls don't do hair out here no more. They don't Well, I had someone that tangle. it took her more than two hours to do my hair and then she had nerve enough to go and enjoy a blunt. So no, therefore, uh, I started doing my own hair, which mm -hmm. meant I was putting a perm on it and and that was just so much stress because you had to take care of kids and make sure you do your hair and then do her hair and it was just too much. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. being that she's such a smarty, when she got older, she decided she would do the locks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, she crazy. What is she doing to her hair? Well, she you grown. did that when I cut my hair, I went natural too. And she grown, she can do whatever she want to. But what when I cut my hair with natural, she went natural. When I did my locks and did my twists, he was like, oh, okay, okay, this is nice. This is nice. No, you know, I tried to transition from uh, oh, yeah. perm to natural and I made the mistake of um, washing my hair before I combed it out and I it matted it up. That. I and that's that. why I had to cut it. That and was I was dramatic. cutting it so short and then I remembered, oh Lord, how am I gonna, what am I gonna have to braid? Because I knew I would have to crochet something or braid something in. That was a bad time. That was, ooh. I remember the day, not the year. This is when Deuce was 15, so. At least it was a long time ago, Seven though. years ago? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, you've recovered beautifully. Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. Yes. Well, 
that has been my mommy's lock update. I know y'all have been asking and I, I had to fight tooth and nail to get her over here. I had to fight. You I had to bribe, I had to fight. I had to exchange, negotiate. Well, I'm here. She is here. Now that I do live in Houston again, she'll be featured a little bit more often. I'm not gonna, you know, how, when was the last update? Maybe a year ago, I think. I don't know. I think it was, um, no, like two years? No, it was like a I'm year ago. I can't remember, but I will keep y'all updated. These are all of her locks, all of her natural locks. I'll show y'all her protective cells. I'll show you her hair when her mom did it. I'm gonna like get y'all all together. Well, I get my home, uh, own hair bio. I like yeah, that. Yeah, you get a hair bio. Okay. Yeah. So thank y'all for watching this video. Please comment down below if you have any questions and we greatly appreciate you being here and we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.